kids, I'm Teacher Pat. Are you ready to learn fantastic? Our topic is changes in matter and its effect in the environment. Changes in matter can be beneficial or harmful to living things and the environment. Knowing the physical and chemical changes that materials undergo helps us determine the best way to manage materials and minimize waste, thereby preventing environmental problems. Some changes in water results in good effects in the environment. Composting and recycling and the use of the technology are some examples of the good effects of the changes in materials. Composting is a way of decomposing plant or animal matter into fertilizer. Recycling helps lessen garbage by reusing them, like newspaper and empty bottles. Evaporation and condensation are forms of physical change in matter. Evaporation is a crucial part of the water cycle. Water from all areas of Earth will not be recycled if they will not evaporate into water vapor as clouds in the sky. Condensation is important in transforming water vapor the droplets water stored in clouds. Changes in matter may result negative effects to the environment. into the air that are detrimental to human health and the planet as a whole. Examples of air pollution Burning of garbage materials and smoke from the burning of oil, coal, and wood. Next is water pollution. It is the contamination of water bodies like oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, aquifers, and groundwater, usually caused due to human activities. Examples of water pollution Throwing into the river the detergents used for washing the clots. When land is dumped with garbage, the land becomes polluted. If this happens, the polluted land will serve as the breeding places for pests that carry germs, hence, dangerous to human health. Next is deforestation. the permanent removal of trees to make room for something besides forests. This can include clearing the land for agriculture or grazing or using the timber for fuel and construction or manufacturing. Next is soil pollution. due to untreated disposal 
pieces of industrial waste into soil. We have to do our share in maintaining a healthy environment. We must avoid too much use of electricity and gasoline. We must also avoid burning rubber tires and plastics. We must avoid practices that will produce acid rain, increase global temperature, or deplete the ozone layer. No matter how big or small contribution you give, what matters most is you've made a difference for our environment. And that's for all.